So today I'm going to explain to you how we are going to configure IPv6 address within a LAN. It's a very simple explanation, which you're going to understand it well, how to implement IPv6 address. This is a LAN, we have a router, and then we have, a, I've put two devices, to, uh, one it's a PC and the other one is a laptop. So we'll, uh, we'll, we are going to consider this as our LAN. We are going to configure only IPv6 addresses on it and show you how the LAN works. Now, let's start with PC1. Okay, desktop, IP configuration. So I'm going to put only, I'm not going to fill up here, I'm going to fill up only IPv6 uh, address here, static, it will be static. So let's say I'm going to put the IPv6 address as 2001, column AC, AD, column, let's say 15, column 1. Column, column, I'm going to put it 10, 64 here. So I'm not going to explain to you again uh, what does the 64 mean, the prefix length, because I've already explained it into two previous videos, which you can refer to. Gateway would be this one. That would be my gateway. Let's put the FE80 column, column 1 for the link local address. Alright, so this is the IPv6 address. So I've, I've entered here, I've put on the IPv6 address, link local, default gateway. If I close it, it should be okay. I'm going to copy this here. Okay, here I've put... Uh, I've already configured PC1. Now let's consider uh, configure the laptop. Again, I'm not going to configure the IPv4. I'm going to configure only IPv6. This time I'm going to put 26 here as the address for this laptop. It's 64 here. I'm going to put the link local as FE80. That will be the gateway because this is the address I'm going to configure on my router. Okay. Now I've come to my router. Let's put a name to the device, to the router. I'm going to put a router name first. We're going to configure it. Her's name. Kukuti. All right. Now, to inform the router that we're going to configure IPv6 on this router, so we type here IPv6 unicast dash routing you will note i haven't put it on any interface it's it's not done on the interface it's not going to work on the interface you put it directly when you enter the global configuration mode now interface this is gig zero 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 ipv6 Address because when we are configuring IPv6, we have to put the command IPv6 address. I'm going to put this. This is the address. First, we have to inform the router what is the prefix length slash 64. Okay, no shut. And here only we can put the link local address. IPv6 address FE80 column column 1 
and then I just have to type link dash local to configure the link local address. You know, in the LAN, it, we use the link local address to talk to each other. Good. Now I'm going to write memory. Done. It's green here, means it's already working. So it's. So now I come to command prompt. I'm going to check whether it's getting access to my router. ACAD. Copy it. Color in 15. Color 1. That's what we configured on the router column column one so i'm going to ping this ipv6 address so you see i get the four eco reply here so this means there is no lost so this pc has accessed the router here this router and it's getting no loss so all the packets are being received so this means we have correctly configured our LAN. So it's as simple as that. So you have on router, you can figure the link local address, the IPv6 address on that interface. Here I have put the addresses in the IPv6 address. Link local address, I've put a default gateway. Had we had a server connected in this LAN, then we, uh, and everything should have gone through the server. So then we put the IPv6 address for a DNS server here. We're good, so our small LAN is working. So but I think it's very a simple explanation to understand IPv6. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, so those who haven't gone through the first video about IPv6, I'm going to put the link down, down in the description. So go through the other video of IPv6 as well. Then you'll be better understand this part of the explanation in this video. So thank you.